actually this green part actually everything has been changed here so we have modified everything so uh, you can see that uh, brown part we have taken it off because we have finished the northern mountains still yet and if you have not understood in northern mountains please write in the comment section of those and uh, yes uh, four, three videos have been posted for northern mountains only and one videos of physical part uh, physical features and the part there were three parts and uh, i have made the playlist and if you have not understood anything please go to the playlist and uh, first of all re understand those things which i have been uh, talked to you in that video and if you have not understood anything please write in the comment section so let's start today video we have been talk about that what is this that what the actually uh, northern plain is mean what the northern plain is actually me meant for what is that meant uh, actually the northern plain is for let's talk about that let's take a recap for that uh, actually the northern uh, plain is of silt deposit the mud deposit the mud where deposit have you ever seen that when you put the pressure of water on the mud the some mud is collected down side some if you are uh, putting the pressure on a, a huge uh, we can say a huge uh, uh mountain type structure of mud so if you put the pressure of the water the uh, some soil falls down and that uh, soil it make a we can say a make a flat surface uh, like uh, the floors and uh, that is called actually that is called floor but yet here it is called plain the northern plain so let's talk about that that deposit of mud and uh, from the mountains and the river is called northern plain and that that mud is that much quantity that it has formed the uh, whole structure of plain so actually let's talk about that that is uh, called alluvium alluvium is a very good soil for fertilization of uh, many of the crops and uh, here you can see that many of the crops are cultivated at this point at this uh, this uh, this area so this was all about that uh, northern uh, the northern plain which we we have been talk about in an earlier video if you have not seen it i will write uh, i will put the uh, the link of that uh, video in that description and uh, uh, you and by the end if uh, in screen annotation you can get the video so let's talk about that so today we going to talk about the parts of that uh, northern northern plain we going to talk about the parts so uh, yes i have in my earlier video i have told that there are four parts of northern plain also like northern mountain have four parts like himadri himachal shivalik purvanchal so it has also four parts that are rajasthan uh, plain ganga basin from indus basin and brahmaputra valley so first of all we going to talk about the rajasthan plains and indus basin in this video we going to talk about rajasthan plains and indus basin and in our next video we will talk about ganga basin and brahmaputra valley so let's talk about today's uh, first of all rajasthan plains that what rajasthan plains actually mean so let's talk about that actually this uh, rajasthan plain rajasthan plain is also called none other than third desert so let's talk about what is third desert so have, have you heard that the largest desert in india is third desert third desert and the third desert location is this part all this part is the third uh, the third desert and third desert is also called the great indian desert because it is the largest desert in india and that is uh, either it is hot or either it is cold it is the largest desert in india and that is why it is called the third desert and this whole desert form has formed a plain that plain is called rajasthan plain so actually by the desert you can make idea that they would be hot they would be sandy they they would be rocky so we can make idea of that thing so we going to talk about that only so actually the, these name have been given to this plain this rajasthan plain is name given to third desert in the great indian desert and it's the short seasonal uh, which are uh, from here they can't reach to the sea the those short, uh, short seasonal streams they have not reached to the sea and that's why it is all the whole the year it remains uh, draw, uh, very drought area drought prone area it is and very it means very hot at the time uh, of uh, summers and uh, all the time of the uh, whole time of the year and uh, this actually the the climate which are experienced here it is extreme we can't uh, everything is extreme like winters so means the winters extreme like uh, you have must have seen uh, in the news that uh, in the winters there were frost and there were lot of uh, plants were just having a droplets of uh, uh, we can say ice you can you have must have seen on the news channels so that was actually the part of and that was experienced in this desert area so everything is ex uh, extreme here because the short seasonal streams can't reach here and the drainage processes can't can't be completed here inland drainage it is so this was all about the rajasthan plain rajasthan plain is not more than this anything we needed in rajasthan plain so rajasthan plain is uh, we can take a recap of that rajasthan plain is also called third desert or great indian desert 
and it is a short prism same will can't do the can't reach to the Arabian Sea or to the sea and uh, that's why this is uh, whole year sandy, rocky and uh, hot at the time. So that was all about Rajasthan. So Rajasthan has been finished. Rajasthan claim. So this was all about Rajasthan. So now let's talk about the second part of the uh, the northern plain that is Indus Basin. Now what is the speciality of Indus Basin? Let's talk about that. So Indus Basin is actually and the silt deposit of rivers as we talk about that silt deposit, uh, silt and the mud deposit of rivers are collected here and they form a plain. So here actually that, that same process is repeated here from the river like uh, the, uh, the tributaries of rivers such as uh, Vyas, in India it is called, Bees, uh, Shinab, Satlaj, Ravi, Jhelum, all those rivers are actually uh, Satlaj, all are here uh, collected as the tributaries and they form here and nothing more than this. They form a plain here and that, Indus, that plain is called Indus Basin. So this, uh, this was all about this Indus Basin here. And uh, actually I want to tell you that the, Jam the most of the parts which have been covered by the Indus Basin is uh, Jammu and Kashmir and uh, Himachal Pradesh. Jam Jammu and Kashmir all this part and uh, Himachal Pradesh. This was just all about Indus Basin. So this was all about Indus Basin and Rajasthan Plain. If you have not understood anything in this topic, please write in the comment section so I can make a video for that. And uh, please, uh, actually so uh, in my earlier video I have been talking about the NTS examination. So let's take a, a step forward for that because it is a very good examination and uh, for your uh, future it will be a very good so as uh, our, ch our channel theme is geography and history or uh, social studies the theme of our channel is social studies as I like uh, I like these subjects so I have made the channel theme is geography and history so the question uh, of NTSC which have been followed every year so that question we have we will use in our so we gonna mash up all, all the geography the social studies section of NTSC and with our channel so our channel is the first channel for geography which are, uh, which will help you to prepare for the NTSC. The goal of our channel is to, you love the geography because geography is a very wonderful subject and if you put a little bit interest in it and you will ca you can score 100%. So that I have experienced. So my experience is, mm, I can tell you uh, tell you this only, that my experience is this only, that uh, I have de done a little bit hard work and I have got the full marks and 100% marks. Uh, not only marks, uh, the 100% knowledge you need in this particular subject. So our channel is the first channel for which will make you prepare for the NTSC examination. So if we have uh, taken the step forward, so let's uh, put a, uh, today, after every session of video which we will finish before signing off, I will put three questions, which are very important. If you, you will write the answer in the comment section. So if you can't uh, understand those questions, or if you can't, uh, do, you don't know the answers, you can write in the comment section, so I can make you explain that only. So the three question, the top three questions of for today is, uh, the first question let me uh, that is written here but you might be not able to see those questions the qu question is the number one question Kaziranga National Park is located in which state actually it has been NMEA it was an examination which was held in 2008 and it was it is a very low quality of question and uh, you might all be knowing all those answers this uh, this answer that is uh, Kaziranga, uh, the Kaziranga National Park is located in which uh, national park first of all I will not tell the answer in this video because uh, I will tell the answer in uh, another video so that you you have any queries so that we will clear it off and uh, this answer this three questions answer we will tell in our another video so first of all our question is Kaziranga National Park is located in which uh, which state and uh, this question is of class 7 class 7 uh, part this question is of class 7 now next part which of the following country is the leading producer uh, producer of copper which of the following country is the leading producer of copper it is a class uh, 8 standard question and the options, we can keep the options that are options are China, India, China, India, Russia and China. Yes, China, India, Russia and China. Let's uh, repeat it. China, India and Russia and China. So please you can write the answer in the comment section. So our last and the third question is Talal Hydro, Hydroelectric Dam is located in which state? It is, a, it is a question of class 9 as respect of class 9. So this question is Talal Hydroelectric Dam. Salal hydroelectric dam which is located in which state so these are the top three questions for today and you can write in the comment section so if you have not understood anything for today's lesson and if you have not understood in these three questions or if you don't know the answer of these questions so you can write in the comment section and I will make you know all those answers uh, thank you thank you for your good response on my channel and uh, hope you all like today's video and have a nice day thank you thank you for watching please do not forget to like sub like subscribe comment and uh, do not forget to subscribe also and watch the full video so that you can get the whole idea about this chapter whole, this, this chapter is very long
And if you will take the whole idea of this chapter, then only you will come to understand that what is all about this thing. So thanks for watching. Thanks and uh, see the whole video. Please press the bell icon so that you can get my earlier uh, my videos earlier.